Hey everyone, welcome back to Rethink Reviews, where we're talking about the China Syndrome and nuclear plant safety. We have a really, really great expert guest today. His name is Ivan Catton. He's a professor of engineering at UCLA, specializing in heat transfer, which is the source of most safety issues in a nuclear power plant. He recently received the Max Jacob Memorial Award for work in that field, and, uh, and he was a consultant to the Advisory Committee on Reactor Safety, which is a statutory advisory committee to the Nuclear Regu Regulatory Commission. So you probably know what you're talking about in this Some, issue. <laughs> the heat transfer end of it. I am against nuclear power. Uh, you are for nuclear power and uh, you have obviously decades of experience and I have maybe a few a week maybe of reading so it should be a pretty I think fair reasonable discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean really what really what's to know? <laughs> That's true. So um, anyway if you could give uh, give our viewers and myself a, a brief explanation of how a nuclear reactor works and what is a nuclear meltdown. A nuclear reactor works because of a process called fission. It takes a neutron to cause fission. When the fission occurs, you get two or three neutrons. Those two or three neutrons are either absorbed, disappear, and one of them causes another fission. So the process just goes on smoothly. When you want to change it, you take out some of what absorbs neutrons, and the power starts to rise. When it gets to where you want it, you put it back in. If you want to lower it, you push it further in. When it drops, you pull back when you get it to where you want. So it's eminently controllable. The fission itself generates the energy. And other than that, a nuclear power plant is not a whole lot different than any other power plant. It's just the heat source that differs. Right, and so then the, the, the fission reaction causes, it causes a lot of heat, which boils the water, which causes steam, which then you drive into a turbine, which then creates the energy. That's correct. And so when a meltdown occurs, um, what, exactly, what exactly is okay. that? This is a, conceptually, it's a simple problem. If I don't cool, I heat. Well, that's what happens in a nuclear reactor. Somebody somewhere screws up. You don't have the flow that you need, so the temperature starts to rise. And, if the, and when it reaches a certain point, the uh, cladding, which is a zircaloy, it, it's a zircaloy tube, just like you have aluminum tube, copper tube. Mm. They use zircaloy because it doesn't absorb all the neutrons. You don't want to poison it too much or it won't work. Inside are stacked these little pellets that are about the size of the end of my thumb, and they stack on top of one another. If you get those pellets hot enough, the zircaloy metal will react with the steam. Mm -hmm. That gives hydrogen, hydrogen gives the explosion. The term meltdown, I mean, from, from what I understand, it's, you know, this heat gets, I mean, the explosion obviously can, can, uh, can cr put a lot of radiation That's, into the atmosphere. Well, maybe. Um, po yeah, possibly. Yeah. But, the, what, but what is actually the meltdown is when the nuclear fuel gets so hot and then it melts through whatever right. the containment it that it's in. It, it burns up the zircaloy just like when you light a sparkler. You know how it burns down? Mm -hmm. Same kind of process. And then these pellets, because they're just stacked, fall. And they get in a big bundle. And in the middle, the, the water, even if you have flow after that, can't quite get in. So it keeps getting hotter until it melts, and it forms like a crucible. And then, the, and so the, the fuel would the meltdown is it will melt through the containment, melt through the floor of the well, plant, possibly? Uh, well, of course. Everything is right. possible. But the chances are very slim. Uh, Three Mile Island, it formed a big crucible. But once the crucible gets wider and wider, the edges get thin, and it breaks. And then this stuff spills into the water that's left in the uh, vessel, and it solidifies. And that stops the melting process. OK. And of so course, this assumes that you've got cooling. Right, which is the which I guess was was the problem in with Fukushima was that the water pump had broken or more more water to cool down the, the uh, There were a lot of things at Fukushima. <laughs> right. That was one of them. 